Oh, yes, everybody. It's now finally time to forget your Microsoft Flight Simulator or your X-Plane. The real flight simulator is right here on the Firefox. You don't even have to download anything. Yes, welcome back to the, I think, criminally underrated GOFS Flight Simulator. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yes. You know, everybody, I made thousands of videos about the great development of this little flight simulator. New update. This runs on a browser question mark, or I remember when an aircraft carrier was added back in the days. Although these interesting videos have never really gotten lots of attention. Yes, not many people have caught on to it yet. But one very, very new change just a few weeks ago has been the 3D buildings that's been added. I mean, I mean look at this. This, again, is running in my Firefox and it's quite ridiculous. Now, we are running maximum graphics, which you can tell, and I mean, it doesn't work all too well. I just closed the tab. That's something that can happen as well. I mean, let's just load back in. Yeah, that's kind of what GOFS is problematic at, and that is smoothness. It's not a Microsoft Flight Simulator that is so shiny and glossy. Yeah, the loading times, especially on my PC, kind of seem to suck. But everybody, look at this. We've got beautiful water graphics. These have been recently improved. And of course, the city of San Francisco, which been, I mean, look at this. It's been very nicely remodeled. Like this honestly graphically can hold up to some mobile flight simulators and it's running on a Firefox. Like that's crazy. I'm right now running the GOFS HD subscription for 10 euros a year, which gives you extremely high resolution in your scenery. And there's a A380 that's just, yeah, it's, it's multiplayer. Look at this. We can literally see the waves here. This has got some pretty good resolution. Okay, we've crashed. We're crashing. Oh, look. We can even see that here in the water. I don't hate this at all. Let's go put it back to the airport. How about we spawn in the Swiss Alps? Let's do it. All right, here we go. And here we can tell we've even got trees next to buildings added in. Pretty nice 3D stuff. Um... It's still in an experimental kind of state, though, which you can tell by this huge tower where that is coming from. Anyway, welcome to the airport of Buox here in the Swiss mountains. This is where Pilatus makes its planes. Something we can tell is that the runway is not actually implemented into the game, but it's just part of the satellite scenery. But it kind of seems to work quite well. Anyways, maybe time now to go into the cockpit of the 737, explore the views. And here we are. Welcome to the cockpit. And this kind of gives you an example of, well... I've closed the tab once again. Like, this, you know the simple mouse button that can press to switch tabs? Great. All right, let's go back to the cockpit. But yes, yeah, so I was trying to say this is not the most realistic simulator. You don't go on this website to... I mean, you don't download anything. You don't really buy anything either. But it's not that crazy. Something that's been very nice, though, is proper joystick support. I mean, this game literally does things that I wouldn't have thought a browser could do. Like, I wouldn't have known that a Firefox could actually access my joystick. It literally works works it's working that's great all right there i go take off we've kind of crashed i mean even the sound is actually quite impressive can you hear those like bassy nice sounds this is <laughs> really not bad seriously underrated i mean this runs on firefox that was a very realistic crash all right let's once again try to take off here something that doesn't work is my rudder controls but that's another story also, the physics aren't all too great. And also, I really don't know why this game is blowing me away so much. I mean, look at this. I'm genuinely impressed. Come on, let's put that landing gear up. There we go. We've got a beautiful animation. Now, of course, we've only checked out the 737, but there's literally tons of planes. Right, this is the included planes, but we've even got Community Contributed, which gives you literally any plane you would ever ask for. A220 would only have that for any other flight simulator. Okay, to be fair though, it looks really, really bad. Okay, that's another story then. Got the cockpit. Oh, it looks even worse. Yeah, okay, they're, they're not all crazy good, but yeah, I mean, look at this. Like, this can graphically seriously hold up to, like, really installable, like, 30 gigabyte games. That's really nice. I don't hate this at all. Also, the fact that you can literally fly worldwide. Come on. It's time to explore the world here. Time to spawn onto Makata... Oh! Matakane Airstrip. Yes. Check this out. All right, welcome to Africa. <laughs> nice. This should be a fun fact, but we've already talked about this little strip here on the channel. I'll maybe spawn into a plane that's a bit more better. Um, N40, come on. Yes. I mean, we don't even have a proper N40 for any other flight simulator. Question is, is okay, that's not really proper. Cockpit is non-existent. Let's go full power. Now, obviously, no 3D buildings here. 
Yes, there we go. I have just taken off. This is great. Check it out. I think this is Lesotho, isn't it? Yeah, small country of Lesotho. Look at this. All right, let's crash. Okay, no crash animation. Great. I want to see how Dubai is implemented as well, of course. Yes. Yeah, maybe time to switch to a proper plane. Okay, all right. This is 78. And I don't hate this at all. This actually looks quite nice. Oh, it didn't. Well, the cockpit kind of sucks. Yeah. Yeah, this is a field that they will have to work on, and I think that will be the next step. It's like adding proper cockpit compatibility. I mean, if you're at this level, I think we could implement, like, proper interactable cockpits. That would be really cool. Now, come on, let's take out the 787, uh, which is just, just crashing. All right, you know, this is, this is not the best flight simulator at all, at all. But, you know, that's like the thing. I actually play GOFS quite often sometimes, especially when I'm in class. And I'm on the computer, which, uh, by the way, I'll just pray for you that this website is not actually blocked on your network. That would be bad. It's kind of where GeoFest shines at, even though I think, you know what, all the school computers would literally die at this kind of graphics. Like, this requires some serious performance, I would imagine. I mean, look at the Dubai skyline. We've got the Burj Khalifa. I mean, considering this is worldwide, this can seriously hold up to... The flight simulators that you'd have to install for thousand gigabytes. You know, this is very much kind of like Microsoft running from the cloud, but a lot worse. Okay, I want to see something. I want to see something about the buildings. All right. Just a little check right here. Don't want to start a world war, but you know. All right, now spawn into the Phenom, a bit of a smaller jet. The windows suck. The, oh, what, what? The interior is... <laughs> I mean, this is running in my Firefox. Look at this. Great. It's it's genuinely like, it's genuinely not bad. Anyway, look at everybody what we got in front of us. A little airport called the Skydiving Airport of Dubai. All right, put the landing gear down. There we go. A nice little animation. And I think this is going to go wrong. I'm pretty sure this airport is broken. Look at this. But I mean, I mean the runway is kind of implemented though. That's not bad. All right, come on. Yeah, okay, you know what? This is pretty uncontrollable. But it's, it's, it's Firefox. Who cares? Look at this. Oh, this has been a thing for a while. I'm out of the aircraft carrier. Like, I mean, no mobile flight simulator has one. All right, come on. Oh. Oh. I've died. But you know what? It's actually going uphill. Come on. There we go. Yes. It is Jesus, Mr. Phenom 100. That's great. Oh God, my computer is dying here. Now spawning into Amsterdam, and this is really where you can see you do need a bit of a computer for this Firefox. Oh yeah, okay, big cities are killing it. Well, that's a lot of buildings, a lot of historic buildings as well. This is actually keeping architecture quite well. There we go, now it's loaded in. We've got some rather stable performance. We've even got the harbor implemented right here with some bridges. I mean, this kind of looks like almost a city. And real life, perhaps. I mean, you couldn't be fooled, but it's in Firefox, so no one really cares. So, everybody, that is GOFS. Um, play this at your school. Play this on your browser in your A320 tablet. Whatever you want to do, GOFS is here for you. And... Dead. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night.